Well there, hi, welcome back to Little Nightmares. Let's continue on immediately before I check my things and make sure my audio is not messed up. I can't swear in the first 15 seconds. When, when, this, when this video, well, when this VOD finally gets monetized on YouTube, I don't want to fucking lose that. I don't, what's happening with the fucking, what's happening with the autosave icon, oh god. Something's fucked. Well, I think we're good. Yep, we're good. I'm gonna go shut my door real quick. Brap. There we go. Where am I? Oh, yeah, here. Oh, I. Oh, okay. There's meat. There's meat here. I think we need to drop the meat into the. Yeah, just drop the meat. Oh, did not kill myself. I think I need to drop the meat down, and then I can easily uh. Oh, hey, doll. Is that all that's in here? I think so. I got an achievement. Light up your life. Not all lights can be trusted, but these should be quite safe. Okay, anyways, now that I got that achievement. I think it's time we do this shit now. Uh, we're gonna make hot. We're gonna make some fucking hot dogs. Oh, only one hot dog. Yeah, it's not... Uh, it's not coming out. Oh, wait, hold on. No. Uh, shit's fucked. Oh, do I need to get this body as well? I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Get this body as well. Maybe. No? Okay, hold on. Reese from, from checkpoint. Someone's fucked here.
Okay, so yeah. Something fucked happened there. I think there should only be one meat in there now. I think it may be bugged out because the two meats were in there. Only one meat's in there right now. I'm going to pull down this other meat real quick as well. Head back down. Send this meat in, into into the thing. Okay, so no, there. Okay, so it, I do need to do something else there. It's already lit up. It has to be. It has to be one of these bodies. Oh, is this another meat right here? Oh, I didn't see this. It was in darkness. Yeah. Hey, awesome. Welcome to the stream. I need this meat to go here, and I need to bring the other meat over here. Six, please, for the love of God. Let me in. Okay. Now, I should be able to do it. I thought I was, I thought I was soft locked before I reset. Yes. High in that box, I don't like that. Yep, knew it. Cheese. Okay, I, I first want to learn this pattern before I start doing anything. So it stays over there for a few seconds. Grab some meat up there. And he goes over there. Does he have the key on him? He might have the key on him. Oh, he doesn't. I don't see it on him, at least. Yeah. 
me I was supposed to walk in. I didn't realize that. Oh, but he did get alert to me. I'm not here, asshole. Yeah, it, it probably was intentional. The key's right there. Okay. There's an area over there. That probably would have been a good time to go. I'm going to wait for him to do his next loop around. Because uh, I don't know how much more he's going to do. I don't want to be caught out in the open. Hey, Steel. Welcome to the stream. to Van Vis exit over here. Oh, he saw me. But I got stuck. Lost interest in me though. Out of my room, cat. Here, I'm gonna let you out. There you go. You don't notice the yellow raincoat chilling, and yeah, go there. I don't know how you thought this would work. Oh, hey, another doll. 
I, I don't know what Six's thought process is like. Yeah, let's go. To, let's go into the trash area. Exit right there. The first one get a layout of the land though. Another exit right here, but they'll see me like I'm out of this one. It's right right here. One's fucked off, the other is f fucking off as well. And then there's a area over here as well. I first want to know this guy's pattern, and then I'll worry about the other guy once I see him again. So this guy's busy over here for a while, and this guy comes back over. So they're both doing something right now. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait until I can see this guy again, then I'm gonna run over there. I think that was a wise decision. I hear him coming back. Yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna be busy a bit. Oh. He's over here now. Walk back over to the other area now. You saw me.
Get fucked ass. I'm above. <laughs> yeah, now they're confused. I drop now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God damn, I missed it. <laughs> okay, but luckily, there should be a save point right as I fucking fell or whatever. Fuck you, I escape! Freedom! Luckily, there's this pipe right here. Woo! Okay, only died once and I had to reset once because I was a fucking idiot. footsteps. Oh, that's what's happening. New people. Yes, boat. We are on a place known as the Maw, which is mainly underwater. Like, it's like an iceberg. The majority of it's underwater. Oh, I got a gym in the kitchen. The chefs will miss me, I... Well, fuck, fuck them. Or is there a ladder specifically designed for, for small people like me? wearing masks. Well, majority of them are wearing masks. A lot of people are here. That's what the that's what they're getting ready for. They're all getting ready for like a fucking dinner. Well for a feast I'm pretty sure. I've I've watched for a little night for a little nightmares. I know what's happening. They they all, they all came to feast. This is probably the most chase heavy part of the game. I do not want to fall here. There's our main villain. You don't want to fall here, Six. That's going to be a long way down.
He already knows I'm here. Found where all the Reddit moderators are. Oh no! Hi, friend. My existence, I just gotta find out where I'm supposed to go next. Oh, over up here. I think I'm gonna make a run for it here. Then maybe they'll just give up immediately. They're not even like bother chasing me properly. Unlike the previous two little free chapters where like stealth was your main ally here. Like it appears just to be fast. something here. I think I go up more. Okay, did it go into the foreground? I probably have to go back there or whatever. Yeah, I think so. Six run. Boop. Okay, so if I was supposed to like jump, uh, grab onto the fucking uh, table, lift up my, lift myself up there, and jump over him. Another achieve achievement.
Also, I saw the I saw a doll there. I just wasn't able to get to it at all. Drag something over here to pull this, or can I just grab it? I need something. Oh no! Wait, no. The, the levers are open. I'm stupid. Sorry. <laughs> Here, no. Back over there. Okay. Yeah, I, I assume that was going to open up. This is a mass of flesh chasing after me, essentially. <laughs> One of them's fucking dead. <laughs> oh, there's a safe one right here. Hold on. Oh, hey, it's a hat. I know this hat. Well, it, look, it looks like a the Thin Man's hat from the uh, from Little Nightmares Two. Oh no. Uh, it looks like Six is hungry now. Mm, she really needs to eat, huh? There's a lot of food back there, Six. Why'd you get hungry now? Oh no, it's this part. Hey, thank you for thank you for the sausage. However, I don't want it. I want you. Oh, we could see—we saw Shadow Six again up there. Ah, <laughs> uh, that—that section's actually so bad with the context of the DLC as well. You, you guys find out why it's so. If you don't—if you don't know how the DLC ends, well, uh, yeah, you'll find out when I play through it. But my God, is that part so much worse with the DLC? Oh, hi there, lady. 
Yeah, I think we're gonna beat Little Nightmares today, though. And then tomorrow, and then we can start doing all the DLCs later. Well, then we can do a DLC later as well. I like how I'm able to quickly get through this game while gain most of the fucking secrets as, as well. I probably miss a, quite a few, though, not gonna lie. But, God, that, that, that part of the game is actually so fucking... Because, like, for, for every entirety of the game, that is the last gnome I'm pretty sure you see in the game. Until, like, the ending cutscene or whatever. That is the last gnome. Well, that six interacts with directly. And one of the gnomes saw what happened, so all the other gnomes no longer trust six, obviously. We need a key. Just sneak fast back behind her or whatever. Also, there was a theory that went around back when the Little Nightmares first released that uh, that it that six is related to that mysterious woman. I got an achievement. Augusta area. Little fox among hungry wolves. They gave you a false sense of like of security because you hear her stop singing. They put hiding spots right here. Two, two, two of them as well. But then you never, never. But then she never enters his room. In fact, she's gone. I also like how that closet's lit up as well. Like, it, it gives you like another false sense of security. Like, is she in the cl is she in the closet? Is she hiding, waiting for you to pass by before she jumps out to attack to chase you? And then once again, she never does. And then, here it is. 
you guys remember from the last stream, we saw this through the cameras. All, all her mirrors are broken. This is the only mirror that's not broken. It's telling you what you need to do here. Same thing like how like, like with Mono versus the Finn Man. The entire game, you are facing, you are, you are using, uh, the entire, the entire game in Little Nightmares 2, you are two ninja with TVs. And then to then fight the Finn Man, you need to use the, you need to tune it, you need to like tune how you would with a TV to fight against him as well. Like the game has, it's not exactly the same in this in this game. She's changing into the patterns up slightly. She's trying to like duke you out, like how the Thin Man started to do with Mono. The reason by the way she broke all her mirrors is because she couldn't stand to look at her face. Yeah, uh, there's I think I think there's a little secret that I missed in the game. If you looked at the camera long enough while she was brushing her hair, you would have seen like her her ma like her face or whatever, I'm pretty sure. And well This is it. Mirror's broken. Both of us are on our on our final or our, oh, and Six is hungry. And luckily, there's a victim right there. <laughs> I think the reason why Six is so hungry in this game is because after the Fin Man took her, it, it took like a bit, uh, it, it took a bit of her, which is why you see sh shadows occasionally. And so to say she ate that part that was taken, she had to like, just do, eat a lot more or whatever. And also kill, I guess. And that's my little uh, crack shot theory. Anyways, we just killed a woman. Let's go. And it seems we, we, like, we got a power up right there. This is another thing I want to point out as well, real quick. In Little Nightmares uh, 2, after, uh, oh, just be a minute. Soon. After uh, Six catches Mono and like the last part of the game, when she drops him, she holds on to him. And if you remember, the thing she needs to go through is a, like a TV screen. She took Mono's power, or at least some of it, and then used that to leave. So Six seems to be able to take others' powers, or at least, a, a, at least some of it. Anyways, uh, time for another part of the game. She's, she's literally killing them and taking their life from them. I don't know what, where Little Nightmares Free will be, t will take place in the timeline. But if Six is in it, I just, I, I, my little theory for if, if Six is in Little Nightmares Free is that she'll be an enemy this that time. Because if it takes place after, after Little Nightmares One, then uh, the only way I can see is that Six becomes an, an enemy. Or maybe like a strange neutral force that you see throughout the game occasionally. Open sesame, you fucking asshole. Let me out. I got a world to make. I got. I have a world that I, needs to fear me.
I got an achievement. The ladies' quarters. This derm is coming back. Coach should come in useful. Oh. And there, there are gnomes. Yep, there we are. And now they're free. And there we go. That was Lua Nightmares 1. Uh, I'm just gonna give, like, a, my little th thing here. Like, I, I did this at the end of Lua Nightmares 2 as well, but... The, the world of Lua Nightmares is very interesting, because it's something clearly fucked happened to humanity. Like, in the state that everyone is in, and that all the enemies are in in Little Nightmares, there's no way they uh, that they are capable of building, like, the cities that you all see, so... Something clearly fucking happened, and what I think happened is the signal tower, once again. Something fucked... Some, either humanity found it, or it arrived somehow, or, or like, we built it, or whatever, and it was just downhill from there. Mon Mono in some weird sort of time loop became its, in its enforcer by becoming the by becoming the Thin Man, and Six is I'm pretty sure is the biggest threat to is uh, is basically essentially a threat to the Signal Tower itself probably currently as well. Considering the fact that we've seen her now take the abilities of two individuals, uh, Mono when she betrayed him and uh, the the lady. It's most likely that Six is probably the biggest threat to the Signal Tower, and probably to everyone else. But, once again, World of Little Nightmares has something that really interests me, there's a lot of story in it, and I want, but I really should look at a lore video that goes over how fucked everything is. Yeah, but... Overall, Little Nightmares 1. It's a fun, short game. I think I beat this in... Like... Two hours, like two hours, like two hours and thirty minutes, like how long it took me to beat this game. It's not a long game. It's a short game, but much shorter than uh, Little Nightmares 2. Do I reckon you get it? Yeah, sure, go ahead. It's probably, it's really fun. I personally got both Little Nightmares 1 and 2 for like $20, both for like $20 because they had like a little fucking sale going on. But yeah. It's re it's really fun, not not very challenging. So if you like what an actual challenge, I would recommend. I don't know. Uh, no, no, little Ni nightmares games are really challenging. The ch most challenging part from for a little nightmares game comes from a, comes from the puzzles, in in all of them. But once you know the puzzles, then it's no longer much of a challenge because then you're able to just able to run through. Example, I think I died only around like 10 or so times and the majority of those deaths came from a janitor because that fight doesn't really tell you what a lot of that needs to do. I, th I think the janitor fight is by far probably the worst section of the game in my opinion. It's definitely the weakest link though. Like, I, like, mainly just because it doesn't exactly tell you what you need to do. Like, people can just stand there, like spend time there not realize we need to pull it. Every other fight of the game gives you an instruction on where to go. Like, for example, the chef fight, it, well, the chef escape. It shows you that, oh, these these things are moving this way. If I pull this lever, then they go the other way. I can now go try and find a way to hop onto them. Because you were told to grab hooks earlier to get the meat down. To, like, make the hot dogs to, like, go into a vent. So you know that the hooks are something you can grab onto. Uh, for all, for all those people, it's just a running section. You've been running from some enemies throughout the game, and the chef sort of prepared you for running against enemies that are slower, maybe slightly faster than you. Uh, the lady fight, once again, gives you context clues. Like, if you don't find that secret room that I found, it shows you with all, like, the background stuff, all the mirrors are broken. And then, in, literally, in the room where you find the mirror, all the rooms in it, except for the mirror itself, is broken. It tells you that that's what you're supposed to use against her. 
Yeah, but another thing I another thing I will mention is that, but yeah, janitor section is definitely the weakest part. But other than that, I will I will say this: it's a fun game. If this only took me two streams, which is why I named the playlist on my YouTube on my YouTube channel like Little Nightmares One and the DLC, because I knew this was going to be a short playthrough. I I knew how many chapters there were. I knew how quickly that would take to beat the game, and I understood that I would probably be done by the by today as well, which means tomorrow will probably just be one stream of the DLC for Little Nightmares One <laughs> for Little Night for Little Nightmares a. Uh, the DLC. I forget what the DLC is called, actually. But yeah. Overall, once again, final thoughts on the game. It's good. It, Little Nightmares 1 doesn't exactly... Or Little Nightmares 2, but both games never really tell you what's happening. What's happening. It never tell, gives you any lore, stuff like that. All we're left is with context, context boost, which is why I said like the signal towers that they're built are found by humans. Like, that, that's why I said that, because it doesn't tell you. The game doesn't... It, you need to figure it out for yourself. It's not going to tell you the lore or whatever. You have to decide what you think is happening here. But yeah, overall, I'm going to skip past the credits now since it's my... Well, like, no, we're, we're stuck here. <laughs> Yeah, we're stuck here. I can't skip past them. But yeah, overall, once again, it's a, it's a neat little small game. It took the internet by storm a, a while back. And I cannot wait for Little Nightmares Free. Once again, Little Nightmares Free, Little Nightmares Free seems to be more of a co-op-ish game, because all the promotional material we've gotten for it shows two individuals together. So that leads me to believe that it might it might be single player. It might work off like the Lego Star Wars logic, where you're able to switch between controlling the two characters. Bar just might be once again completely just single single player, just the other person being an AI that helps you with puzzles. But I would quite like it to be like a co-op like puzzle game, or whatever. If it is a co-op puzzle game, I will try and find a friend that I can play it with. In like stream or whatever, but yeah. Also, another thing I will mention real quick, since the credits are still going, uh, the fucking music of Little Nightmares is. I've mentioned this before, but the example right here, it, the music's good. Oh, <laughs> it just got fucking better. <laughs> Yeah, but oh, overall, I know I keep repeating the same fucking thing, but I'm trying to find a way to fill up this void of me just not talking because they have a lot of fucking credits. <laughs> okay, come up. Oh, there we go. I think this is the end. Yep. Of the European Union. <laughs> what? This game was released in 2017. <laughs> Little nightmares. Yeah, but this game is something else. It's definitely an experience. I've wanted to play Little Nightmares for a while, for a long time, and hey, I finally I've finally been able to play both games. Oh, and that's the maw, and you can just see six chilling on the top of it. Thank you for playing. Yeah, Six is just chilling up here now. I do want to know where we're going to go to the story, though. Also, they'll probably have six in Little Nightmares, uh, uh, free. Six is the poster girl. Anyways, I want to look at how many chapters there actually are. Yeah, 
about. So there's, like I said, five chapters. Chapter one is mainly just the introduction, no regal enemies. It begins once you get taken by the Jander, I'm pretty sure. And then this ends after you kill the Jander. Then this one begins and then ends once you escape the cooks. This one ends once you escape the cooks the second time. And then this one... Uh, and then this one ends once you, well, kill the lady. And then the DLCs. I still have forgot to install them, but I will do that. Yeah, as you can see, there's only three chapters for DLC, and last stream we managed to get through, well, basically three chapters. Yeah, we 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 kill we kill the woman, and then we eat her corpse or whatever. I don't know. But yeah. Uh, also, I want to do something real quick. Said no extras. Let's do the concept art. Uh oh, my game froze. Oh no. Oh, okay. <laughs> we don't have everything unlocked, but we do have something unlocked. This is the that one room where they make a jump across. Ear of the gnomes. The leeches. Well, they have legs. <laughs> I didn't know that. Well, that that's a good background image. <laughs> With Janner's room, chefs. There's free. There's apparently three of them. We have six. Of, I, I I don't know how this part of the game would actually properly work if you had to fucking drag something. <laughs> I can't tell if Six just killed that guy and is walking away covered in blood, or if he got stuck in the door and she's walking away while still covered in blood. I've done this one. I have no idea what to say about this one. <laughs> I don't know when they had legs. Apparently, but they've apparently always had legs. They just always crawled at you, though. Anyways, yeah. Once again, thank you for what. Thank you for watching the stream. I'm gonna go start downloading the DLC because, well, that's when we be playing tomorrow. We'll probably beat it that same day. It it it's pretty short, but he also. I, no one does a long playthrough of it. Like people usually beat in like one to two top stream. So I'm, I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna do an extra long stream tomorrow until I fucking beat the deal. DLC. Watch the DLC turn to a four hour live stream. By the way, let's. <laughs> I really do hope not hope that happens. But yeah. Once again, thank you for watching, and remember, I'll see you all tomorrow for some the uh, Little Nightmares DLC, and also some fucking. Rock Galactic with British and Fish, hopefully. I, I I know for sure British will be there. I may get that man all the time. Fish, I don't know about. Anyways, goodbye.